In this lesson, we'll take a look at the Maya interface and talk about navigating our 3D viewport. So let's just start with a blank Maya scene and go from there. At the very top, we'll start at the top left, you can see that there is a menu. So this top menu, we can access different things related to working with our files, saving and opening files, also uh, editing, deleting things and duplicating things, also uh, creating different objects for our scenes. And the first part of this menu will remain consistent, but the second part of this menu is going to be specific and it's going to be related to whatever menu set we happen to have selected. In this case, we have the modeling menu set selected, so we have modeling related items on our menu. If we change this to a rigging menu set, you can see that those things change, animation, rendering, and so forth. So depending on the menu set you have selected, your top menu will look a little bit different. Now this menu set is located on our status bar and this just contains some icons that are related to working with files and undos, working with our different modes, also some snapping options and rendering options and different interface options that we can bring up that we'll talk about a little bit later. Below that are the shelves and these are just storage places to put icons that we're going to use on a consistent basis. So in this case we've got some pre-built shelves that we can access. So polygons contains icons that are related to building polygon primitives and then have there's some polygon uh, modeling tools there as well. If you go to the sculpting shelf you can see there are sculpting related tools and you can create your own custom shelves as well. Now you'll notice as I start to hover over some of these tools we get these little tool clips is what they're called that come up. And if we for instance come down here you can see as I hover over this tool and I'm not pushing any buttons it brings up a little tool clip that gives us the name of the tool, the move tool, the hotkey, W, and a short description of that tool, along with a link for more information. So, as you see me go through this, you might see those pop up. Those are there for your information. So, if you want to explore, if you see anything that you want to know a little bit more information about it, just hover your mouse over it, and you'll get a tool clip that will allow you to kind of get a better idea of what that icon means and what that tool is. If, though, you want to turn that off, all you have to do is go to Windows, Settings, Preferences. Let's go into Help. And you can just turn that off under pop-up help, display tool clips, and save your preferences. And then they won't come up anymore if it's a little bit too distracting. So make sure to take advantage of that as you explore further in Maya. Now as we move to the right, this is the channel box and layer editor. Now the channel box isn't going to make too much sense to you right now, but it basically is a, a place to keep track of all the transforms for your object, how it's moved and rotated. The display layers down here in our layer editor are going to allow us to separate our scenes into different uh, layers that we can turn off or on based on what we want to work on. So for instance, right now we don't see anything in our scene, but if I hit this button here, I can turn on the visibility for a spaceship that is located within this layer. Now underneath that, you'll see some animation controls. These we'll talk about in our animation lesson. We also have some buttons related to the layout, the view viewports, and we'll talk about those in a second. And then we have our transform tools and selection tools, which will enable us to select geometry and move it, scale it, rotate it around our scene. Now the center port portion is the one I really want to focus on. This is our 3D viewport. This is where, how, where we're going to be able to interact with all of our objects and our scenes and really where all the fun happens. And so right now we have our spaceship and then we also have this wire grid. And this is there for reference. We also have this these three axes, you, you can see different colors there, green, uh, red, and blue, and then also a little name right down here, P-E-R-S-P. -E so the three axes are X, Y, and Z. So X is going to be the axis in the 3D space that goes this direction. Z is going to be front to back. And then Y is going to indicate the up and down axis. So what we want to do is now start to rotate and move around our scene. So to do that, we're going to use the Alt key and our left mouse button to orbit around. And you can see that the grid and the axis moves as well, showing us that we're moving around. Now, it's important to note that we're not rotating our object around. We're not rotating the grid around. We are actually orbiting ourselves around this object. So think of yourself as a, a sort of virtual camera, and you're orbiting yourself around the object. So the 3D space is staying still, but we are moving. Now that's Alt in the left mouse button, but if you use Alt in the middle mouse button, we can pan or track across our scene, so move around like that. Or with Alt in the right mouse button, we can move in and out. So by using Alt and the three mouse buttons, we can very quickly orient ourselves correctly to get the, the best view, 
depending on, you know, if we're doing animation or maybe we're just modeling, we want to get in there and, and get the best view. We can do that using Alt and our three mouse buttons. Now this works in our perspective view, but we also might want to see the model from different angles, maybe all at the same time. So instead of having one large viewport, we can actually switch this over to four smaller ones. So let's hit this button over here called four view. This will allow us to see a top view, a front view, and a side view. So you can change any of those views by going in to any of those viewports and choosing which view you'd like to see. In, inside of any of these views, we can move around, but we cannot orbit because these are orthographic views. So if you want to be able to orbit around, you need to go back to your perspective. So we can work in any of these views that we want to. And if we want to go back to a single view, all we have to do is hit the space bar while hovering over a particular viewport. We don't have to worry about that button at all. And we don't have to actually click on the viewport. We can just hover over it, and that'll quickly maximize that particular viewport. So as you go in and start working with Maya, that's going to be vital in being able to see things from different angles, and maybe sometimes different angles at the same time. Well, now that we've taken a look at the interface and kind of moving around in the 3D viewport, let's take a look at actually building objects in Maya. So next, we'll learn about Maya's modeling tools and workflows.